Hello everybody, welcome to this short tutorial from City Skylines where I'm going to show you how you can use the editor, the in-game editor to create better looking intersections, even with vanilla roads or any kind of road that you download from the workshop. So let's just jump right into the asset editor, into new assets, and I will show you exactly what I mean. So if you are loaded into the asset editor, you are greeted with this page and you can also click here on the roads. That's going to take you into the road editor, which is a functionality that was added into the asset editor uh, with the green cities patch, I think. So let's get into it. Now in here I have some rows that I already imported into the no workshop mode of the game. If you want to know how to get into the no workshop version of the game, there is a link in the video description showing a video where it's uh, you know where it's explained. But uh, we are going to now select any kind of vanilla road. So for example, I'm going to select the basic uh, the big road with uh, where is it with the with the grass median. This one for example, okay? So it's the four lane road with decorative grass. Now I'm going to select it and uh, you know just edit it. So what do I mean when I say better intersections? So let me for example create a very very simple just a four-way intersection with this road but the unedited version, okay? I'm just going to create it like this. Now it looks pretty straightforward and it has uh, just a very sharp corners and you know you already saw this right when you play the game. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but uh, I'm going to do it with the version of the road that I'm currently editing in the road editor, okay? Now these two roads, these two intersections look absolutely the same and I'm going to now change this one. I'm going to go to road properties, this tab, and I'm going to select the properties. Now I'm going to be greeted with all these values that I can change and all these check marks that I can change, but we are not going to deal with that. We are only interested in this single value right here. That's probably zero for every single road, definitely vanilla roads, and probably all the other roads that you download from the workshop. So it's the min corner offset value. All right, and now watch this. I'm going to make this value go higher. Let's say I'm going to type in 20. Okay, and you can already see that the intersection here kind of uh, changed and uh, these corners became larger in here, all right? Now, because it's a big road, I need to put a bigger number in here so that we can see the effects it's doing, all right? So let's put in maybe like 30, all right? And you can already see that it's changing the intersection to be to be with much uh, rounded corners in here, and it's kind of looking looking better, right? Uh, now this is not uh, this is not exactly going to work if you are doing some you know American style cities, for example, when you really do want to have those sharp corners, but uh, it might be very very useful if you are doing, for example, roundabouts, and especially if you are doing uh, tram intersections. Okay, you can obviously exaggerate this by quite a lot. You can put in like fifty and create like a super big intersections this way by just changing this single value and you can do this for any kind of road you have in the game. Now I already I, I already uh, saved this road. Let's say that I'm going to use this road, this big road that I did here. I already saved it like I said and I want to use it as the exit road or entrance road into the roundabout. Now I'm going to select the road that I'm going to build the actual circle part of the road with it, right? So that's going to be, for example, the two lane one way road, all right? So I'm going to continue. And now I'm going to build with that custom customized road, I'm going to build the basic shape of the roundabout, okay? So for example, like this. Now I'm going to take the road that I just edited, for example, the big one, and I'm going to use it, like I said, as the entrance road. So I already uh, saved it as the tutorial wide road one before I made this video. And I made it so that the properties min corner offset I put to 30, okay, with this road that I'm currently building in here. So you can already see that the intersection is somewhat distorted. Normally, normally I can actually show you how it would look normally so we can have comparison. So normally we would have the crosswalks in here, but if I have the upgraded road, 
I have the crosswalk slightly, slightly further back. This means that there is the offset that I was talking about, but you need to have the offset on both of the roads to have uh, the nice corners of, uh, you know, of the intersection. So that's exactly what I, what I can do with uh, these roads. Now I'm actually going to put this road back into the standard version so we can see the differences. Okay, I'm going to do it on two roads and two roads we're going to have, uh, you know, better. So right now I'm customizing the inside road of the roundabout, okay? And I'm going to put it to, let's say, 30 again, okay? And you can immediately see that this is a nice looking entrance into the roundabout, right? Cars will finally go and uh, turn with a much higher radius into the, the big road. So this looks much better, right? Much, much better. And you can, you can immediately, immediately compare these two, that uh, there's just a huge difference in the in the in the shapes of these two intersections right and you can do that easily by just changing this single value you can exaggerate it again quite a lot i can put it to 50 for example i'm going to already switch this entrance road for the upgraded one already so we can see how a standard roundabout with uh, almost vanilla roads is going to look like and this is super easy to make you can see that there is absolutely zero magic involved in here and these are just a very very simple uh, things I can show you with move it that uh, there are no other rows that are connected in here it's just three segments and a single node right here so easy absolutely easy you can upgrade like I said any kind of road you like I don't really want to create like a steam collection with these rows that I upgraded in here because I feel like each one of you will probably want to customize this value so that you can create uh, you know like a, like a tailored road for your particular project. Now this is all nice and you know amazing and all that, but like I said, this is, this is much, much better for tram roads. So let me just jump into a new editor and I'm going to pick a tram road, some kind of a tram road. Let's say that I want to take, for example, the vanilla one, the vanilla simple tram road, for example, this one, okay? I'm gonna take this one. Now, this one with this one, it's not exactly all that terrible because uh, the vanilla one is already kind of all right, this wide one, but uh, you can make it a thousand times better with this uh, road editor. So, we have this, right? Now, these corners in here, when the tram wants to turn right, it's uh, it's very, very uh, tight curve, right? So you can do exactly what you did before and you can do the minimum corner offset and put it to like 30. I really like the 30 number for all these roads because it just feels right, okay? And immediately this radius is made a lot bigger and a lot more realistic when it comes to, you know, the realistic radii that uh, the trams can go through. You can exaggerate this again quite a lot, but you need to keep in mind that uh, you cannot really create any intersections in here now. For example, if I made an intersection in here, it won't even allow me to do that actually, because uh, it's just not possible. Uh, I can I can't even I can't even make the road larger. So if you exaggerate this, then uh, you probably need to use some kind of road anarchies if you want to do that. If I build this road in here and then exaggerate it, then I'm gonna have a really weird intersection as the result because this node is just not. Uh, long enough to accommodate the offsets from both sides of this uh, of this segment in here okay so that's something that you need to keep in mind when experimenting with this like i said i like to use the value 30 in here but uh, for the tram roads you can easily go with 40. now a quick note about zoning in here is that uh, you you obviously don't really want to zone because as you can see the zoning goes into the intersection i don't use zoning anymore in my project so i don't know how the buildings look like in these corners i'm not even sure if they will build themselves in these corners but you can kind of see that it's going to not look good now the best thing about this is that the trams and cars will actually use these larger uh, curves so the trams will follow these tracks they won't just you know go into the center and then just turn on their original radius but they will actually follow the tracks just like cars now quick note about pedestrians they will go and use the crosswalks that are actually painted in these locations. So in these offset uh, locations, they will actually use the crosswalks. But in my experience, they won't use the sidewalk in here like this in the corner, but they will go uh, in the straight way like this, uh, basically from one sidewalk to the other like this through the grass. So when you are using this, and you will probably want to use this in your some sort of detailing projects, you probably want to 
uh, use some decorations and detailing to make this sidewalk larger so that people are not going to clip through buildings when they walk like this, all right? Now, this is absolutely amazing, like you can see, but it's even more, more great with, uh, for example, the normal uh, roads for the trams. I have them somewhere, I don't even remember where. This is, for example, a road I downloaded from the workshop. Again, it's uh, it's made so that it, it's going to have the larger radii for the curves. And you can see that this looks thousand times better than you would have it in, uh, in the vanilla game. I think this is actually the original road, so I can show you the difference and you can immediately see that oh wait actually that's not the road never mind oh yeah this is the road right this is the road so yeah this curve impossible for normal real life trams to go through but uh, this is much much better now also you have the cables to take care of obviously this is kind of useless for the trams so what i do with these kinds of roads i basically disable the cables you can do that very very easily when you go into the basic again and you're gonna go to uh, nodes, I think, and you are basically going to get rid of the tram wires. So I'm just going to click these delete buttons in here and I will be basically delete the wires from the intersection. And then I will have to detail them in manually for, you know, for much better looks. So this is unfortunately kind of a drawback when, it, when, it's, uh, when it's used for these uh, tram uh, tram roads, but for the for the roundabout roads, it's really really useful obviously only for cars So yeah, you can easily customize your own roads Whatever roads you feel like customizing you can do very very easily with this technique by just changing this one single value in the basic properties of every single road and you can obviously do that for the surface variant of a road you can do it for the elevated road as well for the bridge slope and tunnel for all of this, you need to do it. If you want to use the elevated versions, then you obviously need to just copy paste the same value from the basic tab to the elevated and so on. All right, so this was just a quick tutorial, quick uh, quick showcase of what you can do with uh, with uh, changing just a single value in the road editor to make your, your custom roads for your detailing projects, your intersections. All right. That was all. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you and you liked it. If you did, you can always put a thumbs up underneath the video, share the video with uh, whoever you might you might think might find this useful and you can subscribe to the channel if you're new here. So thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.